Hello, everyone. My name is Mariela Paulino. I'm 25 years old and a graduate student in Washington, D.C. In 1987, just after my seventh birthday, my mother, my younger sister, and I came to New York from the Dominican Republic. We had two large suitcases between us and not much else. We moved to Uptown Manhattan to live with a friend of my mother's and her daughter in a two-bedroom apartment. We all began to adjust to this new country, new culture, new language. Then one day, very suddenly, I started to feel sick. My body didn't seem to be able to hold my weight. Within 24 hours, I was in the emergency room of another hospital. One minute, I was playing with my sister in the playground. Within the next hour, rashes had formed all over my body. My mother was yelling at me to stay awake, to open my eyes. I spent two weeks barely conscious in an intensive care unit. My mother tells me that when I woke up and she spoke to me, I thought she was playing a game of lip talking. When I realized I couldn't hear, I freaked out and they had to give me something to knock me out. I don't remember that, but I remember feeling terrified. My, fa my family was miles and miles away, almost 2,000 miles away, and we really had no one else to turn to. We were alone and our world had just turned upside down. Somehow, by luck, fate, destiny, I was eventually transferred to the NYU Langone Medical Center. The same week I arrived at NYU Langone, I was introduced to the Cochlear Implant Center for an evaluation of my hearing, where they advocated with my insurance company to make me a candidate for a cochlear implant. We were put in contact with someone truly extraordinary, Dr. Roland. Dr. Roland performed cochlear implant surgery, a procedure that has changed my life. I will never forget waking up from surgery and after the evaluation at the cochlear implant center, being able to hear my mother's voice, which I hadn't heard in months. I can't describe it. It was different, but still the same. It sounded like mom. I cried when I heard her voice, and she cried too. It was an incredible day for all of us. Within a few weeks, I was enrolled in speech and hearing therapy, and within a few months, re-enrolled in school. Looking back, I realized I have known Dr. Roland for 18 years. 18 years, and he was and continues to be an incredible part of my life. Dr. Roland didn't just perform the cochlear implant surgery and send me on my way. He spent time telling my mother about speech and language therapy. He introduced us to a network of doctors and speech pathologists, and he constantly called to make sure I was doing okay. His investment in me as his patient was one of the first glimmers of hope my family and I had experienced in what has been a very long road to where we are now, today. In 2007, I was accepted to NYU undergraduate program with a full merit scholarship. Thank you. I majored in politics and graduated two years ago. This year, I entered a graduate program at Georgetown. The ability for me to stand before all of you today, speaking in front of an audience of 500 people, over 500 people, is no coincidence. It is because of the investment 
of an incredible group of individuals at NYU Langone who watched over me and cared for me for many, many years. And it is especially because of Dr. Roland. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce you to my doctor, Dr. Roland. <laughs> 